exclamation everybody and welcome uh, to fighter royale last ace flying it's by fighter base publishing inc it's currently free to play and in early access question mark i believe it's i believe it's some form of early access uh that it's in right now and um it's uh it's it's one of those things where you think to yourself, well, that was a really good idea. Why didn't that happen sooner? <laughs> um, it is a battle royale game, but a battle royale game with um, fighter planes, and it's 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 an interesting concept. There's jankiness and other things um, to it that we'll get into in a little bit. Uh, but before we do, just so I don't forget, uh, I want to explain some parts of this. So first of all, you have your daily challenges up here and these are like coin thingies. Um, and there's a VIP section, which we'll talk about in a second. But basically if I go under the, I believe it's the hanger here. Let's go back one. Somehow I'm level seven already. I didn't play that many games, but it's I, I they might have the progression set really high right now just to test things. Um, but in the hangar, you can see, you know, all the your planes that you've unlocked. This is, hmm, yeah, and, and different. Uh, there's different planes that you, I haven't unlocked yet. Um, I'm trying to find where was this at. It was. I can't seem to find it right now. Um, but there was one battle roster. Is that it? Ah, ha, here it is. Okay. So, uh, you have this battle roster. And if I look at like tier three, for instance, you see, if I have a thousand coins, which I only have 386, I can buy this, this, um, fighter here. And they all have stats, guns, health, speed, agility, that kind of thing. And you kind of have to go from, top to bottom you have to you have to unlock the ones above before you can unlock the ones below so you can't just jump to whichever one you want but the idea of this is and, and this is this is where things are, are kind of interesting you always start out at tier one um when you start the game and again this is a battle royale so if you, there's solo and team i haven't played team yet but solo is one versus 100 as you as you might imagine and you start out in one of these fighter planes. Now you get to select which one you want once you've unlocked them with the coins. And you see I've unlocked everything in tier one and I'm starting with the sea fire here. It's not the most agile one that I have, but it's a good overall thing. During gameplay, there are airdrops that happen. A lot of airdrops. Uh, each one is sort of color coded and it all, they all mean something different. Um, some are, some are ammo, some are missiles, some are, um, chaff, some are, um, uh, uh, smoke screen. And there's also golden ones that fall down and they are, each one of those golden ones has like a, a number underneath of it. And those represent what tier is up here like one two or three i haven't seen any four or fives yet but one two or three and what what happens is when you fly through that it actually upgrades your your fighter to that tier uh to whatever one you have selected in each of these tiers so you can see in this one i have the hurricane so if i if i start out i'll start out in a sea fire three and then if i run across the tier two uh golden parachute it'll knock me into the hurricane and if I come across a tier three one, it'll put me into the LAF five FN here. Um, and I can, and, and that's how my progression will go. And then of course you basically, this is how you customize what your progression is going to go, which is an interesting concept, right? It's taking a battle royale and it's like, you basically upgrade along the way as you're going through this, the, through this battle royale stuff. Uh, so very interesting, uh, way of doing it. Um, there are, however, and you don't see them here. There were some in tier three, but I don't see them now. Um, oh, here they are in tier two. There's a couple planes that are only available to VIPs, which is skirting the edge of, of p play to win there, I think, if not fully into play to win territory there. But 
you're looking at the agility and stuff of these, eh, they are better, but they're not necessarily the best. You know, the Wildcat and stuff, but they are still pretty good. So, yeah. And the VIP stuff, uh, if we go and, uh, where, do I, where do I go to see that? This is nuts. Um, we could become a VIP. You can see here, uh, VIPs get voice chat, which, uh, good luck for them on that. I, one thing I don't need. Uh, you get avatars and all that stuff, and then... Your daily rewards of tokens goes up and all that stuff. You unlock skins and there's also skins you can buy for with tokens um, for your ship and all that stuff. Four ninety nine a month to do that. Um, there's also obviously a shop um, which allows you to buy. Where's it at? Here it is. Um, you can buy coins. So five bucks for twenty seven hundred. 6,000 for 10, 16,000, 80,000. Now, 80,000 to me sounds like a whole lot. I don't know exactly, like everything so far in the game has been pretty cheap. So I'm not sure, I'm not sure if these are um, for, if, if they intend on after they get out of maybe some kind of testing phase, if they're going to jack the prices of everything up or, or what's going on there. I'm not not entirely sure, but that's, an interesting, uh, interesting progression of, of tokens and things. Um, and uh, obviously you get tokens for the daily challenges that you do, like joining a battle, killing a player, destroying 20 objects. And then when you roll over these, it tells you what your VIP bonus would get with how many tokens you would get. Those kinds of things. So that's the monetization right now. So I wanted to get that out of the way just so that we can before i get into the battle because i have a feeling i'm gonna once you jump into battle i've i was very consistently getting from one battle to the next to the next um you know without too much of a lag time so i wanted to make sure i remembered to cover some of that before we got there but anyway uh without further ado let's get into the battle and i'll do solo i'm not really a big team player so let's let's just do solo here i don't know what host solo is i guess you could you can host a game with just your friends, I suppose, um, which is interesting. Uh, a voice chat enabled solo. Um, so that's an interesting twist on, on it. But uh, I'm going to just do start. And this should pop me into whatever games are, are going on right now. Um, you can use a joystick. I have not tried the joystick uh, with this game. The mouse uh, and keyboard seem to work okay. The keyboard shortcuts are a bit odd. Um, like they're not exactly what I would have selected, but um, I'll show you what I mean. So your speed is done with your uh, scroll wheel on your mouse, which is fine. Um, moving back and forth is pretty good, although I do find myself getting caught um you know in a not being able to spin around fast enough to do things the um the radar screen is about as useless as you might imagine because it shows every red dot on there is is a a drop so it's not it's not just it's not just uh, enemies it's also drops here you can see like this this drop here rockets all that stuff I've already taken some damage. We're at 75% there. Um, yeah, there's some, some flat going down here. There's also, if I hit tab, um, you don't see it right now, but it is just like any other any other battle royale. There will be a circle that will ever shrinking, ever shrinking circle. Uh, you need to stay within, um, or else, or else. Um, there are some power-ups that you can get. These green drops here are, are random. So there are some power-ups you can get. Like, this is speed up, which we already have. But, um, there's ones, like, that will actually show you the nearest enemies. They'll actually put, like, arrows on your screen to the nearest enemies and stuff, which was really useful, because as you can see, this radar screen is nigh... <laughs> it, is, it is not useful at all. There's a plane down there. I can see it with the red circle. They're very hard to spot, um, and that was most of my problem was just having being able to spot the uh, other enemies um, more than anything else. 
You can actually attack these ships, but there, there's no... It doesn't do anything for you that I've seen. <laughs> it just, it's just, they'll just keep on firing flak and everything at you. Now, we're not in the game proper yet. There's, we've got all 100 players joined now. So this is just like the warm-up to the battle, as you can see with the, the timer there. Um, I, I'm not flown through any of these. I guess these are tier upgrades too, I guess. They're just not, they just don't float. Well, I guess they don't do anything. I have no idea. I haven't tried. So, <laughs> the keyboard controls, again, a bit weird. Like, 2, 3, and 4 are your special abilities. You start out with, uh, with nothing. Um, Q is a speed up if you've had, if you have speed up, which is something, a drop you have to grab. Um, and, uh, there's a couple other ones. I don't really honestly know all of them because they're, they're just, it's hard to, it's hard to grok how we, how we'd use them. Okay, sniper view is X. That's one of those. So that gives me like a, a zoom in, which is kind of nice. Here's a tier three here. If I can, nope. I got the smoke screen. Let's see what's that. That's tier two. Can I hit that guy? There we go. So there's a, that upgraded me to my hurricane. You can kind of see how this works. This is, I think, a smoke screen, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, that's a torpedo. I don't know what I would use a torpedo for. I guess maybe you can destroy some of these things here. This is ammo. I think somebody's on my on my tail. I do believe. Now I can yeah, I can switch my uh, I can uh what's what's the word I'm looking for here? That's five, is that? Okay. I can I can look behind me by right clicking and, and dragging. Um doesn't really help much though, because I don't have any guns to to shoot that way, but there's also Oh they've thrown uh they've thrown uh some some chaff down. That hurts a lot, as you can see. I'm gonna do a three here with some smoke screen. And then we got that guy oh, off in the distance there. There we go, we took I think 45% damage off of him. Uh there is I am out of bullets already. I was going to try to shoot this balloon, which gives you stuff, but uh, <laughs> I don't have any ammo. This is another problem with the game, is that you run out of ammo very, very, very quickly. There's there's an ammo drop there, if I can get to it. I can slow down and get to it. Now, another thing is, and this is kind of an interesting... Um, kind of an interesting choice on, their, on the dev's part. Um... As you take damage, if I look in tab here, you can see what my, my damage is my on there. Um, as you take damage, the performance of your plane suffers greatly. And there does come a point where... Someone's on my tail here. I need, this, I need these bullets. There we go. There does come a point... Area is shrinking too. You can see the circle over here. I'm well within the new circle though, so I don't have to worry about that too much. But you can see, I can't get to my top speed. Uh, my top speed is 133. There will come a point when I can't basically get any altitude because I'll be I'll I'll be so damaged that um, I you know you won't be able to won't be able to do anything. So I got speed up there. That's good. That's the uh, the the chaff there, which is what you saw me fly through earlier. This is basically you know. Um, basically, you throw a bunch of what looks like, uh, I don't know, nails or something out of your, out of your, a bunch of, of metal out of your plane, and uh, it's a huge cloud, and anybody flying through that takes a ton of damage. So, go do a little speed up here if we can. Try to grab this. I think somebody's on me. 
Yeah, chaff. There we go. So I want to see if I see anybody. Where's, where am I at here? Okay. I like that you can see the death zone around. Um, I've got the audio turned way down, and that's because there's a lot of annoying sound effects in this game. Especially the death sound effect, the bong, bong, bong. That's what you keep hearing, and that's very, very loud. Um, the engines are, are quite loud and annoying at times, too. So that's why I've basically got everything really turned down. They, they really need to come up with something better as far as maybe, you know, different, um, different sound effects or something here. Because it's, it's not very, uh, I hear somebody. I've got enemy engines turned up. Oh, there's another cloud of chaff down there. There we go. Down, right down there. Somebody. So a ship down there. So my hand, keep my finger on the four key here. It's um, I I don't like where they like they got number keys and they got they just got the weirdest key combinations, which does not work out so well. Oof, I've got I'm getting shot at here by by ships, and I cannot find any players. This is the longest I've lasted, though, but it's mostly because I can't find anybody. That circle is really coming in here. Getting rather close. Oh yeah, we're in like a very small circle now. Uh, I don't see. This is this is the problem. I wish they wouldn't hide the enemies on the radar. Like, I get why they do it, because it makes it a little bit harder, but it's still, like, you end up kind of not being able to see, see them in plain sight, you know? Like, I could be staring at two of them right now, and I would not even know, because I would not be able to see them. Oh, there's, in fact, there was one just crashed. <laughs> see what I mean? Um... have here. So, if I use this torpedo, say I use this torpedo on one of these one of these ships, do I get anything for that? Or is it just a, a respite? You just, you just get to not be shot at. Like, there's a carrier over there. Let me just, uh, let me do five and see what happens. Go five. There. I'm just curious. Or is it just, just, just piss them off <laughs> a bunch? It's tier 2. If I do another tier 2, will it give me a fully repaired plane? That's the other thing I haven't tested is, do I get a fully repaired plane? Because I, I have not seen anything that repairs your... Oh, there's a, there's a player. That repairs your, your plane. And I'm out of bullets again. Great. But I do have rockets, which I think are... Or missiles, which I think are two? Yeah, two is missiles. Well, he's got, he's got two people on him. We got this, this safe, we're outside the safe zone. I'm trying, trying to return to the safe zone. Oh, it's, it's going so fast. I cannot get out. I cannot get over there fast enough. Oh God. <laughs> it's like the area has shrunk so much. Okay. 13%, 12%. Eight. 
Two percent. Wow, it jumped down to two percent. What the heck? Oh, I feel like I got gypped there. It was going down by one percent all that time. I was gonna just about make it. All right, well, that was <laughs> the longest I've been in there. Um, let's go next battle. And it should be... It hasn't been a very long wait between battles from what I've seen. There's been... It seems like a lot of people have been online. Oh, I've already been shot down. So, so there's that. Alright, some, some, at some point we'll crash. There you go. <laughs> it's like, you like, die already. Trying to... The other, the other thing I'm having, the other problem I'm having is trying to actually... Like, get... Like, that guys, I... The, the only two kills I've had in the game so far were because I dropped chaff, <laughs> and they just flew right through it. Um, so I'm trying to actually get kills with my guns, but I I have I am sucking big time with that. It just feels like I can't. Like it feels like everyone else can turn faster <laughs> than I can, and I'm not sure why that is. Who is who is shooting at me? Okay. There. All kinds of flak going up from these from these ships. So I like that they I like that they've added in like that. Like that's another thing you gotta worry about as you're flying around. And it's not just the players you gotta worry about. You gotta worry about getting... Ooh. Hello there. I'm gonna do three. So Q. Get some speed going. I guess I could use my sniper ability and see if that helps me actually... Target some of these guys. See, they their circles go by so quickly, right? It just feels like I can't get to them in time, no matter what I do. All right, let's go grab some stuff here first. Now, I have been in a situation a couple times where I've gone for a fighter upgrade. And someone else has gone for it at the same time. <laughs> and, uh, kablammo, we all get hit. Oh, there's, there's health upgrade right there. Okay, I was like, I couldn't figure out if I could find these or not. Aircraft repair. So, you know, that's what I was looking for all this time. Some that chaff behind us, and someone is behind us, apparently. Although I cannot see them, oh, I'm gonna end up going for my own my own chaff cloud here. There he is. Oh, he's taking damage. He's taking damage. That's good. Let's see if I can. Make some headway here. I'm gonna go through this thing and see if it actually like repairs me. I bet it doesn't. Oh, it does. Oh, it does. Okay. Well, that's another way of getting repaired. Cool. A lot of people just died. Looks like there was two of us going after him. I think I uh, didn't didn't award me with a kill. 
I would have another, I would have a number down the bottom, I think. These are the kills. Okay. We've had a very, very active beginning of the game here. I hear somebody, oh, there's somebody over there. Oh, and then there's, they threw, not only did they throw up a cloud, they threw up chaff as well. <laughs> That's how you get guys in this one, is you throw up the chaff and the cloud, so you can't see it, you're running through it until it's too late. Oh, and it got me. <laughs> and they got me. What did I get for that? Alright. Try that again. It's a lot of fun. It's it's still. It doesn't. The controls do not feel good at all. It actually kind of feels a little bit anemic. Like every 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 uh, fighter in here feels very anemic to me. Um, like things just don't. You know what I mean? Like they don't they don't move quite fast enough. Like, it feels like the enemies can get can get turned around a lot faster than I can. Is what it feels like. And I don't know why that is. Like see, like see how fast he's spinning around. Like I cannot, my sh my plane will not go that fast to get around there. You know what I mean? Which is which is weird to me. I mean, I, unless he's just fully upgraded immediately, I, you know, that could be a thing too. Maybe he's a VIP player. There you go. Suck on that. I got him to 64% damage. Oh, there we go. See, I got a kill there. That, that, so that it does tell you down the bottom when you when you get a kill. <laughs> Eventually. Eventually. All right, get me around here. I guess that's the I guess it's the one thing I would improve here if they could do so is get some more some more situational awareness. I think that's the hardest thing right now is trying to figure out where things are coming. Oh wow, we <laughs> we went head to head on that one and uh, I lost big time. I think they, they would be easy enough to fix that if they just didn't show all this crap on the radar like they do, you know? I like that everybody starts out with cold guns, so you can't fire immediately. It's just a way to give everybody a chance to grab a few pickups before the shooting begins. Over to that. Oh, see, he just grabbed up that golden parachute over there. Grab this green one. Let's see what we get for our troubles. Okay, hot guns. Sniper view. What I gotta see is if I go through that four there over by the. Um, over by that mountain. Is, is that actually an upgrade or is that just a is that just a thing? This is what I this is what I'm trying to find out. Is this something that I need to bomb? Cuz they they mentioned something very quickly about like landing or something in the video tutorial. It's not it doesn't have a, a very good it, it does have one solo mission that you can do. But then there's like a Oh yeah, no, that that, that is definitely an upgrade. 
Okay. They have like a video tutorial thing that they show that goes by by stuff really quickly. And then um and then they have like a a uh your first solo mission you do literally solo. It's just against bots where they show you a few things here and there. But otherwise they kinda just drop you in and don't really give you much to go on. I see is he Yeah, he just he just crashed. <laughs> Like, every time I see a, a player, it's like, oh yeah, no, they're, they're just crashing right now. They're in the death rows. It's very, very, very difficult to see. Uh, what else do we have here? Is there anybody else around here? I really don't see... Ooh, getting close. <laughs> That chef is getting really close there. Is this? Can I shoot this uh, zeppelin up here? Is this a thing? Blimp, I mean. <laughs> I can, but it it shoots back. Okay. All right, that wasn't that wasn't the greatest idea I've ever had. a 97% yeah they picked away at me a little bit there's a there's one over there it looks like he's either dying or getting really he's like really close to the water there like everybody's just kind of hanging around down low oh here's here's a here's some health grab that guys down here. Oh, I crashed into him. Oh, for crying out loud. <laughs> for crying out loud. I crashed right into him. Can I drop Chef while I'm still doing that? No. <laughs> no, I can't. <laughs> like that would be that would be a little bit that would be a little bit OP if I did that. A little death, death now. <laughs> uh, all right, so let's do one more battle. Like I said, I'm enjoying this game. It's for all of its like lack of <laughs> graphical prowess and polish. It, it is compelling. I find myself enjoying it quite a bit. It's just I wish I. I wish I was better at it so that... Oh, I hit his right wing. That's cool. I wish I was better at it so that... Um, this wouldn't look so pitiful. Okay. At some point I would like to use this, like, sniper thing to see if I can... Actually, actually snipe somebody. Uh, not quite. Not quite. It helps. It helps slightly, but not helping that much. And as you can see, the arenas are filling up pretty pretty quickly. So I think there's a lot of people playing because I don't have to I don't have to wait very long for the next match. You know, and actually I was playing playing this last night, uh, Sunday night, and it, uh, it was uh, or Monday night, I mean, and I was jumping into matches like almost immediately after I'd get out of one, I'd get right into another one. So with maybe a few seconds. Here and there. 
So here's the thing though, I have, like, these missiles, like, what good are they? Because <laughs> it feels like they don't, like, I can't get enough, they don't, they're not homing or anything, so like, what, how am I going to actually use them any, like, have to use them up close or something? I mean, that's all I can think. I like that they, they give you like, hey, you've hit his fuselage, you've hit his, his wing, that kind of thing. They give you like very detailed um, stats on where you've, where you've hit them and hit, hit them and all that stuff. Let's see if I can grab this down here. I see some fires. I did see some fires just flying right by there. Can I, here's a question. Can I grab this? <laughs> this is going to be a rough one. Can I grab this without actually crashing? Oh, I got close. I got close. Let's try it again. Right, let's go full throttle. There it is. Get close to the ground for a little bit here. Yeah, what's that up there? I think, oh, let's go grab the chaff. Cause, oh, there's some. There's right over there. Oh, 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 okay. I just scared the edge of that. Edge of that cloud of chaff. So, I like how it's just, it's persistent too, it's just, it starts falling, so even if you're like below it, you're going to end up getting into it at some point. Uh, around here, slow down a little bit. to make that make that turn wow I am impressed there's someone behind me to grab this. this little cove here. There's a lot of guys flying around. I see him moving around the other way here. What's he doing? Alright, I might be out of Bullets? Question mark? <laughs> I'm never, never quite sure. I don't know where my bullet listing is at. Ooh, 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 okay. I got a guy trying to get behind us. If I can. Spin around faster this way. Oh, I think he got hit. He's going down. Yeah, I don't believe he is in the air anymore. Or maybe he is. Okay, never mind. Okay, that's that's a lot of stuff over there. Let's go this way. <laughs> this is, let's go around this way. 
meantime, that circle's getting in closer. Let's grab some ammo just in case I need it. I don't see where my ammo count is. Right, we gotta get out of this valley here. This, <laughs> this area is shrinking. Quite a bit. Let's see if I can get that special up there. Although I'm just giving this guy room to get behind me. Uh, sniper view, huh? Can't seem to get anything decent. So it keeps saying things like bomber spotted and all that stuff at R20 coordinates. I... R20... Okay, R20 is over there. I, I don't know exactly what that means. Like, yeah, you spot some stuff over there, but like that's outside the playing field right now, so... What's the point? Oh, I reached level 8. Well, just, just by flying around. Cool. Um, what do you got here? Three players left. I see some over here. Flying around. Fighting each other. And someone just exploded. So I'll have, to, I'll have to look at the, like, how to play stuff again, because there was some mention of, like, I thought there was some mention of, like, secondary objectives or something, and maybe that's why it's telling me calling out bombers and stuff, but, um, I don't know. I do not know. Look, they just crashed. Oh, here we go. Oh, come on. Wow. <laughs> what do you hit me, like? With three bullets? <laughs> okay. Well, there we go. That was that. And so now we'll come out of here, out of this loop, and uh, go back to the main menu, I'd say. See what we got for our troubles. We're now, we're now level eight. So how to play um, video? Yeah, see, they get the video manuals, which are, eh. Uh, flight training is the short tutorial and offline mission. You can do some practice, that kind of thing. Um, do I have enough to do anything? I have, yeah, it says I can buy one here. I can buy the Waka. Okay, so if I'm not mistaken, this was a VIP plane, right? Last time I looked at this, because there were two in the tier two, right? And now it says buy, so maybe maybe you can buy them without being a VIP? I'm going to say buy and see what happens. Okay. Cool, that's the Wildcat. Um, although the Hurricane's got better health and guns than this one, so I might just select that again. But this one has more agility, so maybe the agility will help. I don't know. Um, so maybe the VIP thing is just unlock it immediately, whereas... It will eventually unlock uh, on its own as long as you have stuff. Um, this one here, still need a thousand for that. I don't have that. But yeah, that, that must be, maybe that's what it is. So maybe it's not skirting the whole play to win thing or pay to win thing, um, which is good. I mean, it's good that they're not going full on that direction. Um, still didn't, I still didn't get a score a kill. <laughs> It says kill a player zero of one. I, I thought I got a kill. Oh, you know what? I got a kill what it, before um, before this match started. That's what it was. So, yeah. I got to kind of like work on that a little bit <laughs> here and there. Um, but I I think this has been a good a good showing of, of what is in store here. This, my friends, is Fighter Royale. Last Ace Fighting. Or Flying, sorry. It is um, by Fighter Base Publishing Inc. It is free to play right now. There are There is a VIP thing that you can buy into as well. There's in-app purchases, those kinds of things. It's a battle royale with, uh, with fighter jets. And um, 
or fighter planes, not jets, <laughs> prop planes. Um, and it's actually not half bad. I mean, there, there's there's some work that should be done to it. Uh, I, I feel like there's a little bit of, when you get down low on health and stuff, they really ought to give you some way of healing, even if it's just like a slow heal or something. Um, because then you, you end up in this situation where you can't get any, gain any altitude because you're just going to stall, that kind of thing. So there's, there's some situations where I feel like they might, you know, maybe they need to work on the balance a little bit. Um, and whatever shot me, uh, with like two bullets and, and destroyed my, my fighter, uh, that, that might need to get looked at too <laughs> at some point. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, I, I mean, beyond the, the anemic kind of control scheme, like, I, I mean, I like the, I like being able to control with the mouse, but I don't like how slow everything is. Like everything's like super, super slow. And, um, that might be something that, uh, maybe they need to, to work on a little bit. Cause maybe there's just too many fighters that are very slow fighters altogether. Like don't have the agility. Cause it seems like to me from what little I've played, if you just go for the fighter with the highest agility, it doesn't matter how much health it has. You're always going to get behind somebody and, and do some damage. So, um, that might be something they want to kind of balance out a little bit, perhaps, but uh, that is it for me, friends. Thanks. Uh, as always, I will leave links down in the description uh, so you can do your own due diligence. Thanks so much for watching, everybody, and I will see you next time.